hey everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to fix google chrome won't open in windows 11 or windows 10. i will be sharing few very good solutions that you need to apply one by one and if this works for you please consider subscribing to the channel and like the video as well and still if you have the issues or any problem then let me know in the comment section now the very first thing that you need to do is you need to close your google chrome completely from the task manager what happens that many times the chrome application is running in the background and then when you keep clicking on chrome it doesn't come up okay so how you have to do right click on your windows icon then choose task manager task manager will be up and you can see that the google chrome is already running here okay but you do not need to close from here from the top in menu click on the details tab now here you have to look for chrome right click on it choose end process tree so what this will do this will completely close google chrome from your computer click on it and still if you see then again make a right click choose end process tree and you can see that the chrome is now completely closed i would also recommend that close all the other applications like microsoft edge whichever you are not using now after doing this just try to open your google chrome and see that if this fix a problem and if not then what you have to do next click on your search box type cmd choose run as administrator then click on yes the black window will be coming up here you have to type a command that is sfc space forward slash scan now the command you will get in the description you can copy and paste here once done hit enter now this will take some time okay so what we can do we can minimize it and proceed with the next troubleshooting step okay now again look for google chrome icon on your desktop make a right click on it and choose properties now here in the compatibility tab click on it then in the compatibility mode just check the box of run this program in compatibility mode click on it and from here you have to choose the maximum version of operating system if it's showing windows 8 go with 8 and if it shows windows 10 then you can go with windows 10 and now below that you will find I run this program as an administrator click on it then click on apply and then click on ok after doing this uh, you have to go with another method that is just make a right click on google chrome again and choose open file location now you will come to this chrome.exe make a right click on it and choose show more options and then here you will see an option of send to and then you can choose desktop and as soon as you click on it you will find that the new shortcut has been created here okay so what you can do you can rename it like the earlier one was google chrome and now you can name it as chrome okay and now delete the previous one right click on it and choose delete okay once done click on it and see that if it's coming up now and you can see the google chrome is now coming up all right now in case if it still doesn't work for you then wait for the command that you just ran and you can see that it says windows resource protection found corrupt file and successfully repaired them so there, there are some issues as well so what else you can do just close it now Press Windows and R key on your keyboard to bring up the run box at the left hand corner. Here you have to type percent local app data and then percent again and then click on OK. Now here you have to look for Google, click on it, then double click on Chrome, then on user data. And here you will find a default folder. Right click on it. Then choose copy. And then again you can just 
save somewhere like paste to any other destination like on your documents on your any of the drive just as a backup okay after you took the backup right click on it and choose delete okay and this will be deleted now after deleting it restart your pc and i'm very sure that your google chrome not opening problem will be resolved so that's all guys for today hopefully you will be getting the solution after watching this video and if yes please consider subscribing to the channel like the video and do not forget to make a comment if you still have a problem with your google chrome and i will see you in the next video bye bye